Hey guys. Uh, so here's an EQAO question from a couple of years ago. And this one we found um, a lot of kids struggled with. Um, and the part of the reason is because it has so many bits and pieces. So I thought maybe we'd take a minute and just take a, a closer look at this one. So the very first thing I suggest when you're looking at any EQAO questions is make sure you read the question. Um, lots of times they give us questions that have lots of different steps. Um, so it's really important that you take the time, read it, figure out what the question is asking you, and then try to solve it. Um, so let's look at this one quickly. It says the first three terms of pattern A are shown on the grid. So, and I can see, and I don't know if you guys can see, but up the side I, right here, I notice that it says term and down here, term number. So it says the first three terms of pattern A are shown on the grid. And I can see that they correspond one, two, three. Good. It says the pattern continues to increase by the same amount each time. Well, what's it increasing by? That's my first question. I'm curious, so I'm just going to figure it out now. So the first one says 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 4. And then I'm going to check the next one as well. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it looks like to me right now that the pattern is increasing. Sorry, guys. The pattern is increasing by 4 every term. Okay, so it says the pattern continues to increase by the same amount each time. And we figured out that's four. Uh, the rule for pattern B is start at nine and then add three to get to the next term. So this grid is showing us pattern A, but now it's talking about a pattern B. And it says the rule for pattern B is start at nine and add three to get to the next term. And then here is the question, which statement is true? Um, the seventh term in both patterns is 27th or 27. Pattern A will reach a term with a value of 15 first. The terms in both patterns are only odd numbers and pattern A will always have the same or will always have a term with a greater value than pattern B at the same term number. That's a lot of information. Um, so the very first thing I like to do, um, or I feel is kind of important, it gives us a picture of the very first pattern, but we need to compare these patterns. That's what it's asking us to do. It's asking us to determine which statement is true. And we can't do that unless we can see the information. So the very first thing, um, there's actually a number of ways you guys can do this, but the very first thing that I have a tendency to do uh, and and I think you most everybody feels pretty comfortable with this um, is to make a, a T chart um, for pattern A and for pattern B. So that's what I'm just going to do quickly up here. I'm just going to put up a T chart for one, two. We'll call this one A for pattern A and pattern B. So pattern A, if I look over here again, guys, if I look over here, the first three numbers are there for me. So I know term number one is going to have a term number of three, number two is seven, number three is 11, and then I know that it's increasing by four every time. So if I have a fourth one, all I'm going to do is add four to 11. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So then I'm gonna put 15. I'm sorry guys, my stylus is a little off. Um, so the next one, five, and then I'm gonna add four to my 15. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I'm gonna turn that to 19. Number six, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, and seven. I'm just gonna draw this line down a bit more. Uh, seven. So 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27. The reason I stopped at seven uh, is because it says the seventh term uh, in the first question. So maybe I need to go farther, maybe I don't, but at least I have that information so I can go as far as that. So let's look at the second one um, and just let's take a peek at the second one. So it tells us the first term, and we're gonna go back over here right here, Here's the information about pattern B. It says the rule for pattern B is start at nine. So the first term starts at nine. The second term, well, it says we have to add three to the next term. So nine plus three is nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12, number three is gonna be 12 plus three, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. And four, 
fourth term is going to be 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. And the fifth term is going to be 18, 19, 20, 21, 21. The sixth term, it's not a great six. The sixth term is going to be 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. And the seventh term, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27. So with this group over here on this side, A, all we did was add four every time. This group, B, we added three every time. And that was our rule. Um, so now it's asking us which statement is true. So we have the data for A and we have the data for B. And now we're comparing them. So it says the first one, the seventh term, so that means I go down to the number seven on the sides of B oath, and it says the seventh term in both patterns is 27. Yep, that looks good. So I look over here, guys. The seventh term here is 27. The seventh term here is 27. Okay, so I, my instinct might be to mark that one true, absolutely. But for me, I like to double check just to make sure that I haven't made a mistake somewhere. So I'm gonna go through the rest of them. Pattern A will reach, uh, reach a term with a value of 15 first. Well, I'm gonna go to pattern A and it looks like at term four, it's at 15. So if I go to B, it says term four is 18. So no, I know the second one, I know this one right here is absolutely not true. So no, that's no good. The third one says the terms in both patterns are only odd numbers. Well, three, seven, 11, 15, 19, 23, 27, those are all the odd numbers. But if I look at pattern B, nine is an odd number, uh, 12, that's not. Anything that ends in a zero, a two, four, six, eight, that's an odd or an even number. Okay, so if you have anything in those terms that end in a zero, a two, four, six, eight, you have even numbers in there. So I can see then 12, if I'm looking in pattern B, 12 is an even number, 24 is an even number, 18 is an even number right here too. 18 is an even number as well. So I know this third one is no good because I'm looking for the statement that is true and it says that which statement is true which tells me that only one of them is um, so the first one I have proven is true the second two I have proven are not true let's check out the third one pattern a will always have a term with a greater value than pattern b so look at pattern a let's look at the very first one up here term one has a value or a term value of three Pattern B, right here, we're looking at the first one, has a term value of nine in the first term. Well, pattern A will always have a term with a greater value. Well, three, three is absolutely not greater than nine. So I know we've just disproved that one. So my answer in this question is going to be the seventh term in both patterns is 27. And you guys can see it right there is 27. So this is just one way that you can solve um, solve this problem. You could also do it with a number line um, and I'll show you guys a video about how to do that. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for listening. I hope this helps um, and check out the next one because I think it'll help as well.